This is a bit of a brain teaser, but I think, uh, I think we can get through it. What we're going to do here is deal with a caller wishing to change their language. And we're going to keep it simple in this one. There's only two languages, either your English or Spanish or French. But there's only two languages. We're going to make use of the set contact info icon. And we're going to put that after we accept the call. We are now going to set the language of this puppy to English. We're going to assume that our caller is English. We're going to go through the same checks and balances we did before, but we need to make a change here. What we want to do is to um, replace the prompt, play prompt, with a menu. And the reason for that is that we're going to ask the caller. I'm going to delete um, the play prompt now. We're still going to play a prompt, but this prompt is uh, the welcome prompt is going to suggest that if you want to change your language, we'll give you three attempts to do it. We'll flush the DTMF garbage from the prompt, and um, we'll add a filter here that says change language. And we'll associate that with uh, press 1. OK. So the caller is going to come in as an English speaker. He's going to hear a welcome prompt that says, um, press 1 to change your language. And uh, had I had, by the way, other options under here that would appear under here, press 1 for accounting, 2 for sales, etc., you would have seen a list down here. I've only put one option in my menu, press 1 to change your language. So that's why I have one stub. Uh, you get these two no matter how many you add. Uh, there's one for error handling on timeout and unsuccessful, etc. So we're here. So what we need to do here is to set up a new um, operator. And I'm going to select Boolean. You ever hear that uh, joke that reads, um, there are only 10 kinds of people in the world, those that understand binary and those that don't? Think about it. OK, so this is going to be B for uh, Spanish speaker. And we're going to start off with that value being equal to false. So we have created that uh, Boolean switch. And what we're going to do now is get ourselves an if-then kind of um, logic, put it under here. We're also going to need um, the set contact um, And we are going to need a set icon. All right, so let me show you how this has got to work. When I first come into the script, we're going to play a recording 
in English, because we assume we're English, and that prompt is named P Welcome Prompt. If you press 1, that's the only way you can get to this logic here, indicating that you want to change your language. So if I am Spanish, when I enter this, the value of B Spanish speaker will be false. Therefore, I must be a Spanish speaker. And I want to change it from false to true. So we're going to say set the properties here are going to be set the variable be Spanish speaker to true. And then we want to go to oops we need to uh, so I come in here false because I'm Spanish I want to change it so I want to change from false to true therefore I'm now going to reset my contact information to the Spanish library yes Spanish. okay if I came in here with the value set to true, indicating that I wanted to change it. Then I must be like an uh, English dude, right? Therefore, I want to set B Spanish, the value, I want to set it to false. OK. I want to set my contact information to English. And I want to go to start open script okay let's uh, let's take a look at this one more time we're going to come in accept the caller we're going to set the language to a default of English we then if we're open play the welcome prompt which says if you want to change your language press 1 I press 1 Entering this if with the value B Spanish speaker is false. Therefore, I want to change it to true. I want to reset my contact information to a language of Spanish. And I want to go to the start of the script. This time when I come back through here, the contact data will indicate that I am Spanish and I will hear this prompt P welcome prompt this time in Spanish just to be ridiculous I press the one again this time as I enter here B Spanish is true Therefore, I must be an English speaker desiring to set B Spanish to false, reset the contact information to English, and go back to the start. And now I will hear this in English. So the beauty of using the licensed prompt versus the poor man's uh, two separate logic trees is that I get to write one script. I've got one script here. That script is one line of code, one set of prompts. The prompts are all the same name. I'm not going down a separate logic tree. Everything stays the same. The only difference is that I now get my prompts out of a different subdirectory. 
but they are in fact named the very same for each of my prompts. And that, my friends, is the best way um, of handling a language a situation.